What happened today? What was this? I mean, I know y'all were out handing out warrants today. Yeah, well, today, you know, we partnered with DPS and the Sheriff's Department to go out and serve uh, warrants. We were, we, looked, we pulled up all of our Class B misdemeanor and above warrants for the city. We talked to the adult probation. We got all their warrants. And just as a collective effort, you know, to you know, show a you know, partnership and, and you know, um, with with the sheriff's department and DPS, we we all went out and we were serving warrants today. We had a warrant for a subject period, the 2900 block of Southeast Sixth Street, and uh, we observed the subject in the front yard as we pulled up, and he turned and ran to the into the house through the garage, and we went in. Two of us went into the garage. He had locked that door into the house, and two officers had went around to the back of the house where they had met with his uh, elderly father and the elderly father opened the back door was talking to the officers one of the officers looked in the residence where they saw a subject pointing a firearm at him which was the suspect that had a warrant the warrant was uh, a pointing fellow, a firearm at the officer at the officer at, at the direction of the back door where the officer and the father were standing and so um they the officer pulled back notified everybody that the sub suspect had a firearm and so therefore the response that, that we got out here today, uh, the warrant was uh, a felony warrant for possession of controlled substance from uh, four grams to 200 grams. And it was a motion to revoke through the uh, adult probation office. And so- Was there also another charge in the past of aggravated assault or? No, that may be a new charge. Okay. That from him pointing the firearm oh, at the okay. direction of the All right. And, um, so we began negotiating with the subject via phone and talking to the subject via phone, he continued to state that he had a firearm, you know, that he didn't want to go to jail and he wasn't going to go back to jail. We tried to come in and get him that, you know, he would use force. And so we, you know, got a lot of support from DPS. We had a lot of Rangers out here, their SRT team, uh, Weatherford Parker County Special Operations team. And, you know, again, they continued to negotiate with the guy on the phone and um, you know, after a little over four hours, uh, the subject, you know, peacefully gave up and came out of the house uh, unarmed. We, we took him into custody, and, and he's on his way to, to jail right now. Big, first big event, really, for, for you, for Absolute. you, Chief. First big event. What do you think? Um, you know, I, I couldn't be more excited about the support that we got from all the surrounding agencies. I mean, uh, the, between the Sheriff's Department, DPS, you know, which is who, we're all, we all have to count on each other, being a rural community. You know, in any, any event that happens out here, we have to we have to count on each other and the officers. And so, for all of us, the the administration, the officers, everybody to be a part of this and see this, um, I, I think that we all are on the same page now, and we know that that support is there. Great job today, getting a bad guy off the streets. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations. Absolutely.